going to start with three pounds of ground turkey. It's going to make two pretty good sized meatloaf. And this is the cheapest way to buy ground turkey. It's going to be like around $9 to get three pounds. I use a grater like this. It gives a uh, grate that's a little bit more like a matchstick because you want a little texture in there. You don't want just shards of it. Um, anyway, so I grated up two carrots, which ended up being a little under a cup. I'd say, a, you know, over three quarters of a cup. There we go. I've got uh, basically two stalks of celery in there. A little under a cup of onion because the bright. This might be a little heavy. <laughs> I got about a cup and a quarter and I've chopped it up uh, pretty fine. You know, you shred it and then you chop it that way and I got these little particles like this. Um, cabbage actually cooks up kind of sweet. It's nice. All right. That's what we got so far. Okay. Now we need a binder. And I'm not using bread, so what I'm using is instant mashed potatoes. Any kind will do. I've been using the stuff I get at Costco, and I'm going to have about a quarter cup of instant potatoes. Cause All right, three mediums or two large. That's what we've got so far. There's no seasoning. Now, what I like for seasoning is, I like this stuff. Uh, Italian porchetta seasoning. It's got fennel in it. Any Italian seasoning would be good, but um, those little fennel seeds is really nice. I'm going to say it's about an eighth of a cup. This recipe started out with me using pork sausage and ground chicken, but ground chicken got harder and harder to find, and uh, it just morphed into a solid turkey loaf. Because we have the seasoning that gives it the pork flavor. All right, now you guys just got to get in there with your hand at this point. All right. Pretty good. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I like to kind of pull away from the sides a little bit, get the liquids kind of drained down in there. going in the oven 350 degrees and I'll tell you how long it takes when I bring it out and figure it out. The meatloaf took about 45 minutes, um, faster than I thought. Uh, I tend to overcook my meatloaf so I pulled it out when it looked good. So about 45 minutes 350 degrees.